seventh planet from the Sun and orbiting on a strangely tilted axis, Uranus inhabits the twilight zone. Uranus is a gas giant with rings and moons. This one, Miranda, is the rough diamond of the solar system, a rocky little ice chip with cliffs taller than Mount Everest. It's cold out here. Uranus is 19 times farther from the Sun than is planet Earth. In 1977, a star winks as it passes behind the planet. The winks reveal the rings of Uranus. Astronomers count nine. Subsequently, 11 are confirmed. They emphasize the severe tilt of the planet, all of 98 degrees. Uranus orbits on its side. With a diameter of over 51,000 kilometers, it's far larger than Earth. But compared to Jupiter, that's modest. Uranus may be a giant, but Jupiter is a supergiant. Nineteen eighty-six, and from Voyager, the first close-up. An apparently featureless ball. With infrared, the Hubble Space Telescope sees a little deeper. It spies three hazy layers of atmosphere. There may be weather down there, but it's obscured. The moving arrow shows the odd angle of the magnetic field through Uranus. Compared to the rotational axis, the magnetic axis is offset by 60 degrees. On Earth, it's only 11. The atmosphere is mainly hydrogen with helium and a touch of methane. The upper band is a narrow layer of haze rich in hydrocarbons. Below, hydrogen and methane, then ammonia and hydrogen sulfide, and a transition zone of gas and liquid. Deeper still, liquid hydrogen. A mantle of ices, and a rocky core. Uranus has 17 known moons. One of them, Miranda, is shattered early in its life. Some of the debris forms the rings of Uranus. The rest reassembles into Miranda Mark II. That's the theory. It's unproven but it does explain the rings. Or perhaps Uranus is struck by a body the size of Earth. That could account for both the icy rings and the tilted axis. Either way, the chaotic contours of Miranda are like a moon reconstructed. Miranda, less than 500 kilometers across, is a riot of geological form. The most spectacular, these ice cliffs up to 15 kilometers high. Fall from the top in this puny gravity, it would be 14 and a half minutes before you hit the ground. This moon, by comparison, is dull. It is aerial, more than twice the size of Miranda, a network of canyons, faults and frost. Umbril, a little bigger, has an ancient surface pockmarked with craters. Titania has a canyon to rival Africa's Rift Valley. It's the largest moon, 1,600 kilometers across. Finally, Oberon, outermost of the big moons. Uranus, where a day is almost 18 hours and an orbit of the sun takes 84 years.
We've reached Neptune, last of the gas giants, last major planet. So remote that when it's surveyed by Voyager in 1989, radio data takes four hours to reach Earth. Neptune's solar orbit takes 165 years. This planet is four and a half billion kilometers from the Sun. Problems in predicting the position of Uranus lead to the discovery of Neptune in 1846. Most of the time, Uranus is either ahead of or behind its calculated position. Something is perturbing its orbit. That something is Neptune. As Uranus on the inner orbit catches up with Neptune, so Uranus gains speed. But as it overtakes Neptune, Uranus slows down. By taking these disturbances into account, astronomers find Neptune. Neptune on the left is denser but slightly smaller than Uranus. Our planet would stretch across Neptune more than four times, a width of just under 50,000 kilometers. To span Jupiter, 12 Earths or three Neptunes more than do the job. After the blur of Uranus, Voyager sees plenty of weather. Here, a cloud whips through the upper atmosphere. Neptune is the windiest place. At the equator, gales roar at 2,000 kilometers an hour. These cloud tops are cold, minus 200 degrees. But the weather is driven by internal heat something missing on Uranus. Voyager tracks a tempest the size of Earth, the great dark spot. Over a number of days, it changes shape. Although the spot hurtles around the planet, this Voyager time-lapse holds its center of frame. To the southeast, Another storm, the Wizard's Eye, bigger than any typhoon on Earth. Seven years later, through the Hubble Space Telescope, the great dark spot is gone. Neptune spins once in 16 hours. The atmosphere is 85% hydrogen, 12% helium, the rest mainly methane. There are four distinct layers. The outermost is stratospheric haze with lots of hydrocarbons. Lower down, hydrogen and methane. Then ammonia and hydrogen sulfide and a transition zone of gas and liquid. Toward the center, liquid hydrogen. A mantle of ices. And a rocky core. Neptune has two main rings, parts of the outer ring thickened where material has clumped. In imaginary close-up, particles of icy dust. There are eight confirmed moons, six discovered by Voyager, all tiny except one. It is Triton. 2,700 kilometers across, Triton has the coldest known surface, minus 238 degrees, yet it spurts blackened nitrogen. These geysers shoot eight kilometers high, their plumes carried downwind in the wispy atmosphere. Triton may be a captured planetesimal, like Pluto, the planet beyond, a world at the very edge.